terrible weather. you again? I'm heating the place like I'm supposed to. Not one of those crackpots of yours is freezing. Don't you worry. The boiler is running full blast, so leave me alone. This is Samuel Gordon. Can you open the door? Who? I'd just like to ask you about something. Yeah? What do you want from me? My Uncle Robert runs this institution. Can you let me in? I couldn't care less about who's running this booby etch. I don't belong to the Doctor Bunch, and I don't have to obey old Gordon. Give me a break, and mind your own business. All right, but I just need to find something out. Then I'll be gone. Oh well, okay, what do you want? It seems to be quite hot inside. Are you heating at full power? There's no other way when the weather's like this. I'll sit here the whole day and night in this awful heat. Well, you can turn it down a little, can't you? Impossible. They've just installed this new regulator. It takes care of maintaining the rock temperature for itself. If it could also do the shoveling for me, I'd have one less thing to worry about. So why don't you just leave the door open? Well, that's another problem. I don't want the nurse checking up on me. She comes by to have a peek inside here from time to time to see whether I'm asleep or something. When the door is closed, I can cool myself down with beer whenever I want. I see. Have you seen Dr. Gordon recently? No, I haven't. I'm closed. Nobody ever comes around here anyway, except the head nurse. I last saw him about a month or so ago. Yeah, last month. It was Thursday, I think. No, not after that. But you said you were his nephew, didn't you? Yes, I did. Well, then it's you who should know where he is. What do you know about the runaway patient? There was a lot of confusion about his escape here. Having a clue why they made so much fuss over one silly loony. The loony happens to be my relative. So you had better keep those insults to yourself. I bet he can pronounce the whole alphabet, unlike you. Calm down, would ya? I couldn't have known he's your relative. Now, why I asked. You know this place well, right? Sure. I've worked here for some years now. If you wanted to get outside, how would you do it? Listen, these are some odd questions, you know. Aren't you an inspector or something like that? Yes, of course. I'm carrying out a midnight checkup of sanatorium security from the boiler man's viewpoint. Come on, I'm no inspector. So what is the simplest way out? Well, I have no idea why you're interested in this, but I don't think there's a simple way out. Maybe from the hall, into the sewers under the building. Other than that, I don't know. If you manage to get that far, the rest wouldn't be a problem. The sewer has several openings that nobody's watching. Why are you asking anyway? I'm just considering all the alternatives. Right. I have to see the cell from the inside. If it's impossible to get out, as everyone says, how could James have escaped without someone having helped him? But who could have helped him? That nurse, maybe. Or Robert himself. Robert's disappearance is surely connected with James somehow. I won't be keeping you any longer. Good. A 
few bottles of beer. The labels are not very damp. The bottles haven't been out long. A few beer bottles, old containers and rusty cans. Just rubbish. A syringe. Looks quite clean. May I speak with you? I see you have a decent supply of beer. What if the head nurse saw those bottles? Mm -mm. No big deal. You can see them outside. As long as she doesn't catch me with one in my hands, she has nothing to complain about. I won't be keeping you any longer. Good. Old junk destroyed by wind and rain. There's no point messing with it. A sewer. Maybe the main output of the ventilation system of the building. May I speak with you? Sure. I need a little time here without being watched. Could you possibly do me a favor? I'd like to make a call to the manor to check if anything has changed regarding Robert. If you could show me where the phone is... I'm sorry, I can't let you inside. But I could call myself. Right. Here's the number then. I do not need it. It is in the internal phone book. Wait here. All right. I need to do this quickly before she returns. doesn't ring a bell. The cabinet is locked. It has a slot of some kind at the bottom. The coin fits in the groove at the bottom. A little key was hidden there. Strong sedative will put a person to sleep for a whole day. Bethanol. Hmm. I have no idea what it's good for. Maybe a relaxant. Who knows? Some drops. Not really what I'm looking for. Cantropin. Diminishes headaches. I still have enough of my own pills. No one was answering the phone this late. No problem. Did you learn anything about Robert? Unfortunately, Mr. Gordon has not returned yet. I see. Thank you for your time. You are quite welcome. It was nothing. That's all. Thanks. I spilt a little, but the syringe is full of sedative now.
I'll have a look. This must be the thermostat regulating the temperature of the ventilation. Hmm. I can't see any controls on it. It's probably entirely automatic. It's probably entirely automatic. It's holding firmly to the masonry. The middle rod seems to be loose. Maybe I could pull it out somehow. I'll go with full dose, so it kicks in fast. Now, get him to drink it. It should be possible to confuse the sensor of the thermostat with cold water. The temperature inside will rise noticeably for a while. I've got to wait a little until the sedative kicks in. I've got to wait a little until the sedative kicks in. make much noise. I could wake him up. The sedative in the beer did the trick. A large heap of coal. The building consumes a lot of heat. Black coal. Nothing else. There's something buried between the coal fragments. An intense heat is coming out of it. This place is very hot. I wonder what door it opens. I'll take it. It's certainly going to be useful. Work schedule of that sooty bully. He's off duty for a while now. Lots of old leaflets, posters, and newspaper pages. Messenger of the Gods. Sounds familiar. I can't see any lock. That's it. That was close. He almost noticed me. I have to lure him out of that hole somehow. There is no other way to reach James's cell.
May I speak with you? Sure. Something just occurred to me. Can you possibly lend me the main duty schedule of all the employees? Do you not think anyone will mind if you have a look at it? Although I have no idea how it's going to help you. Who knows? Maybe something will reveal itself. All right. Here it is. Thank you. I'll return it when I've read it. That won't be necessary. It is already the end of the week. I must issue a new one anyway. That's all. Thanks. Dr. Smith, please come to the lobby. What could they possibly want from me this late? Damn, I guess I must go. This leads back to the hall, but I can't go there. All the cells are locked. I've got to find James's cell first. Who, who is there? Who is th there? I have to say something before he gives me away. I'm Samuel. I uh, am Ralph. We can't speak for too long, okay, Ralph? I do know one Samuel, but not quite, though. Why can't we talk, Samuel? Well, we can, but we have to speak quietly, or better yet, whisper. All right, speak quietly, Samuel. I need to know something. Will you help me? I... The n nurse says I'm g good. But n now I'm very sad. I will help you when I'm not sad, okay? And why are you sad? Well, because of Bubby. Who is Bubby? Did he do something to you? N no! Mr. Bubby is very kind. He is my friend. But now he's gone. And I d don't know where. Perhaps I made him angry s somehow. And what does he look like, this Mr. Bobby? Maybe I can help you find him. He, he, he's no animal. He's very clever and t talks to me often. And what does he look like? Mm, he, he's not t tall like us. He's sh short, but very handsome. Oh, okay. If I find him for you, will you help me? Yes, yes. I hope you didn't get lost. You'll be searching hard, won't you, Samuel? Don't be afraid. I'll find him. It's probably a toy. Where could he have lost it? Just garbage. Trash. Let's see. There's something in it. The head of a doll. The pin served almost as well as a needle would.
Ralph's Bubby is complete now. Ralph, Mr. Bubby is fine again. Here he is. Oh, that's very good. I'm glad he's here with me again. M Mr. Bubby says he is glad too. Thank you, Samuel. You have been very kind to us. I must speak with Mr. Bubby now. I haven't seen him for so long. Hold on, Ralph. You promised to help me if I can find Mr. Bubby for you. But now I want to be alone with Mr. Bubby f for a while. Ralph, Mr. Bubby is sad that you don't want to help me. Ask him. <laughs> yes, Mr. Bubby says that, that he will help you too. Me and Mr. Bubby too. Ralph, do you know someone called James? James is my friend too. He and Mr. Bubby. I need to know which room he lives in. He, he lives next to me, right next door. But James isn't home now. I know. Have you noticed where they put the key to his door? Is it somewhere nearby? Perhaps in some cabinet? No, it's not. Dr. Smith, who guards us, has got all the keys. Do you know that for sure? Yes. When we go to the corridor, he opens the door for all of us. But I don't think he's going to lend the key to you. He's very hard. Oh, never mind. Drat! Smith is returning. We had better not speak any longer. Maybe later. Maybe later. Okay, Samuel. So, the doctor has the keys. How do I get them? I cannot go back. The doctor may return. I try something, but the cable is live at the moment. I've got an idea. I just need to flip the switch. No one will notice. I've got to attract attention somehow. I must hide. What is going on over there? <laughs> I hope I haven't hurt him. I think he's going to be all right. The keys to all the cells. I think he's going to be all right. No water is running into it. Trays and dirty mugs, nothing that would interest me. An awful place. 
A normal person would not survive a single month in here. I should examine the cell before someone catches me. Disgusting. These are horrible conditions indeed. I don't think I want to know what's in it. A couple of pencils and some blank sheets of paper. Nothing interesting. Images of terrified faces drawn with charcoal. One of the strange drawings of James's mind. One of the strange drawings of James's mind. This drawing is crumpled, as if someone threw it away and then put it back on the wall. I'll try to remove it. Ralph, can you hear me? Yes, Samuel, I can hear you. Good. Can we talk now? You found Mr. Bubby for me, so you're my friend now. I like friends a lot. Do you know that? Er, uh, yes. So, what was it that you wanted to talk to us about, Samuel? Tell me about James. Do you know why he ran away? I think he, he no longer liked it here. And also, he was scared a lot. What was he afraid of? I can tell you, you. You won't tell anybody, will you? I won't, Ralph. He was afraid of the head doctor. I too am afraid of Mr. Head Doctor. But James was really scared. Why was he afraid of him? He... he came once to... to James in the middle of the night, and they were talking for a long time. I was listening th through this hall. Mr. Head Doctor was shouting at James a lot. Did you hear what they were talking about? Maybe. I don't know. You must have heard something. Only a couple words, really. Just a couple. Something about a William somebody and a castle. I can't remember anymore. I was scared. Okay, Ralph. Robert was probably quarreling with James about his possible return to the castle. But why didn't Robert want to let him go home? You said you are scared of the head doctor. Yes, very. He, he's not a good man, Samuel. Why are you afraid of him? He often shouts at us, and he's very strict. B but I'm mostly afraid of him at night. He sometimes goes around to our rooms, and th then something happens to somebody. Tell me more. Once at night, he also came to to me, gave me some medicine, and after that, I was b very sick. He s said he would give me more if I told anyone. Y y you will not tell him that I t told you, will you, Samuel? I won't tell him anything. I don't know if I could bear more medicine. When did you last see the head doctor? I th think it was that time. He was shouting at James. I didn't see him the next night, and I didn't see him today either. I hope he will be gone for a long time. Why would Robert administer medicine secretly at night? He must be hiding something.
There's a hole in the mattress. Everything is in decay around here. Pages from various books, even the Bible. Some paragraphs are crossed out, some softly underlined. There's a hole in the mattress. Everything is in decay around here. A piece of paper is sticking out. I'll try to pull it out. February 25th. William must know that I will be all right. All right. That there is nothing, that there wrong, is with nothing wrong with me anymore. Just the voices. I don't understand them. I wish they would leave me alone. They won't get out of my head. Not even when I beg them. I paint a lot in the evening. It helps to drown out their whispering. The strokes of my paintbrush connect into a coherent image in the end without my thinking about it at all. It's as if someone leads my hand. February 27th. I must see William somehow before I get absorbed into this place completely. When we meet, I will tell him everything. William must learn of the evil things Robert is doing to us here. I have to find a way to let him know, to get my note somehow to the usual place. But what if my letter is found by Robert? I must be very careful. Luckily, it never occurs to him to have a look in there, not even when he's passing by. March 2nd. Robert didn't show up at all today. Ralph didn't see him either. That's good. That's very good. I hope he'll stay away wherever he is. March 8th. It's been ten days already since I sent my letter by the old warden. Why hasn't William done anything yet? I wonder if he received my letter. I don't know how long I will be able to endure this place. All right! Got you! I knew there was someone behind the escape. Do you hear me? I'll be back in a minute. And then you will have things to explain. The doctor has likely come too. I've got to get out of here before he brings someone. I don't really feel like explaining why I stunned him. The latch has snapped shut. I can't do anything with it from here. There's no keyhole on this side of the door. Ralph, can you hear me? Y yes, Sambo. I can hear you. Ralph, when James was planning to escape, did he speak to you about it? Yes, Sambo. Did he mention how he would do it? Yes, he did. Will you tell me? But I can't. That I c can't do. I promised James. I wouldn't tell that to anyone. Ralph, James is my good friend too. Do you understand me? I know he would tell me himself, if he were here. I... all right. I think I can t tell you. Mr. Booby says it's okay too. James has got a hole under his bed. Yes, a hole. Under his bed, you say? Yes. Y yes, surely. Will you promise me that that you won't tell anyone. Don't be afraid, Ralph. Mr. B Bobby trusts you, Samuel, and so do I. I go speak with Mr. Bobby now. It seems so sad to me. I should leave before someone sees me. I'll return later when things have settled down. I'd better leave now.